the vlog. Hopefully you guys like the last episode oh. of uh, Just gonna get me dirty like that. New vlog, one of my personal hobbies that I told you guys a little bit ago. So, as you guys know, I collect low rider. <laughs> We started collecting low riders last week. And one, now I got two. <laughs> Look at the little Mexican blankets. Them I already got them. We, put them on, I'll get them my box. Over the weekend I was in downtown San Diego. That's it, babes. And I bought the Mexican blankets you put over the back seat. Look at the interior. There's a couple little things we gotta work on. So like all the trim is aluminum. So we're gonna take it all off and re-chrome it all. Touch some things up. But it's a 63 Impala Super Sport. I mean, finding a clean one is hard, hard. Yeah, thanks. So our first Impala, it's a rag top. We didn't, we're gonna, we were gonna put on switches, but we bought this one to cut up and put on Daddy, switches. Daddy, you uh, have the back seat. I know, so you can ride in the back. We go for a ride right now. I'm gonna cut this puppy up. Are you really? Yeah. I didn't want to cut up my six, my six four rag. He's such a nice car. This is a clean one, huh? Such a nice car. What do you guys think? You guys like it? So my, our other six four has uh, 13 inches. This has six, uh, 14. These have what's called a cross lace rim. The other one has straight. Uh, so this one, Alex from Hoppos is going to hook us up with three pumps. Uh, we're going to actually go visit him tomorrow. So that'll be a whole separate vlog. So we're going to start a build series on the 63. Uh, completely separate from everything we do at CP Race. He's telling me I should consider cutting it. I, I look at a lot of cars, man. Well, this is what you do, right? You transport a lot? Take it. You transport a lot of cars, right? Slightly to your left, okay? Then come back. I'm gonna watch you go slow, stop right there. I'm gonna watch this fender over here to make sure that you don't touch. Everybody, this is Alex from Hoppo. What's going on, man? How are you? Good. Dude. Impressive, bro. Yeah. That's whack. That's cool. Man. It's a whole different level. You like, I mean, we build cool shit, but everyone wants this. And I want that. And, I mean, and I build this every day, so it's like. And I build that every day. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny how that works, right? <laughs> man. So Dude. this is Alex from Hoppo's. He owns a manufacturing company that sells low rider parts. Look him up. Uh, you come highly recommended in the industry. Yeah, it's been around for a while. Is it a family scene or what is yeah, it? Yeah, so my dad originally started, uh, shoot, we're going on 33 years now. So he started originally in his garage. You know, you know the struggle of yeah, yeah, growing yeah. and growing it. And um, you know, a few years back, uh, he actually got sick. He had a heart attack and he was actually thinking about shutting down. At this time, I was like, coming out of college, coming out of school, and I'm like, I didn't know what I really wanted, but I knew I had to deal with cars, and my mom was pushing me to go to school. I was like, yeah, college degree, college degree, college degree, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's, it's a typical family. Family thing, right. yeah, and then, you know, I just wanted to work with my hands. I was like, I want to build cool stuff, and it's kind of just evolved, like, kind of, you know, talking to my dad, like, hey, I want to be in full time on this. How old like, you? I'm going to be 32 cool, cool, in cool, a few cool. days, yeah. Good for you. Yeah, so it just kind of evolved like that, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like, I mean, your, your story too, you Very know? Very similar, yeah. Yeah. So that building you guys moved into, I wanted that one day. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. I wanted that same fucking building. See, and it's funny because we looked at that building a few years back and we're like, oh man, that's like, it's out of our league, same you know? Us. Yeah, that's we could drive by dreaming about it, like one day we're going to end up there. Because to me, it was like, all of us were like, that's the location, like off the freeway. Yeah. yeah, it was cool, man. It really Good was. for you, bro. So, Hard work, dedication. Yeah, so we ended up in this building. Yeah, no, this thing's freaking yeah, so. Our old shop was just a mile down the road. So. Okay, so you've yeah. always been out in this area? No, no, we moved out here four years ago. Okay. So I started in my garage in 2011. Yeah. I stayed in my garage till May. I, I met you actually back in the Honda days, way back. Really? Yeah, yeah, I met you way back. I want to say is that. I don't know, possibly Fontana or something. I mean, you had your, you were big in the Honda back then. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I started with Honda, then I opened my first shop uh, April of 2014, because that's when my son was born. And then we stayed at that shop till 2017. Okay. Then, end of 2017, we came out here. Then we came out here in what, February? Yeah. March. March, yeah. March. So we've been here. We're still getting set up, you know, getting the shop running. And so this is our showroom, the cars that we're building, and stuff like that, or are for sale or sale. So all 
park engine building is in that area. We spent all the money on the equipment right now. We're waiting on a lot of machines, so we'll start doing our own board. Okay. Without okay. okay. jobs, the home. Yeah. Hey, uh, let me know. I'll pull it you want to pull out the truck or do yeah, it? Yeah, right now. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just unload it and just put it like right there. Six figures, god damn. It's not bad. 4,500 bucks. Thank you, brother. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate you. So this is a wiring schematic for what we got to do. He gives us two weeks. Challenge accepted. Saturday, I'm telling you. Or 50% of your money back. <laughs> <laughs> so battery, 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 battery. Alternating. Right. The positive goes to negative, positive goes to negative, positive goes to negative. For all 24 volt. So everything's going to trigger off your 24 right here. I was talking about sharing the ground here. So pretty right. much, this would be like your left bank. That would be your right, right bank. bank. Yeah, I get it. So you're just sharing your ground just so when you quick do your quick disconnect, it kills all power. So this part is the easy part. I'm going to send you the diagram for, because you need it in color. I only got a black and white printer. Um, I'm going to send you the diagram for the actual wiring. Wiring to what? The switches. Understood. What do the switches go to these? The switches. So yeah, you're going to trigger your ups off of the solenoids right here. Uh -huh. And then your downs would be controlled off of dumps, which you don't see on the diagram. Understood. And what's the gauge on that wiring? On uh, on this like the main battery wire? On the switch wiring. Uh, 16 gauge, 18 gauge. Yeah, so so call it relatively tight. Yeah, it's a, you're only triggering for like literally a millisecond on the... Have you ever seen like how they wire race cars? You, you're talking about like with all the actual like fuse panel, the breakers and all that? Yeah, just like the type of like, the Teflon wire and... Watch I'll, the way we do it. Okay. I'll, I'll probably read heat shrink. Is it heat shrinking all the way to the, to the switches? So like your main run of, uh, is in a, it's in one cord. It's nine wires in one. Okay. And then normally from there, like what I do is I run, so the, in the kit came with 17 feet. I normally like personally run like 25 because then I'll, I'll peel back and then I split and then I heat shrink separate um, to where all my runs are going. Kind of like a, a harness. Right. Like that's how I normally do yeah. it when we do an install. I'm going to guess this is the, uh, that's your drive shaft. Cool, let me get that a cutter here. Alright, so we'll start with this one. Can we just open these boxes? Yeah. Yeah, we figured we'd make it like a uh, series of build on this for our followers. Some people, our followers like to see just car in general. Yeah, that's how ours are too. We kind of just toss everything. So I had the guys fully assemble them for you. Go. So I'll save you guys some time. Oh, they're nice. So these are the pumps. These are the pumps, yeah. Alright, so you want to kind of walk people through what you got going on? This one's heavy, huh? <laughs> yeah. So. Right here, you got the actual hydraulic armature of the motor. Uh -huh. um, this is what's going to give you your power. In between here, you're going to have a keyway mm -hmm. that sits inside the block. And the main gear or the, the pump head, it sits inside the tank, uh, fully submerged in oil. This is holds right around three quarts. You're going to put about 2.75 in oil. In, I mean, in if oil. you want to go hydraulic fluid, that's like the correct way to do it. But realistically, I mean, you're not going to notice. You're not going to be like, oh, dang, this car's performing way better because it has, uh, you know. Understood. So these two boxes are your actual pumps. Got it. So then I set you up with a center pressure, uh, half inch pressure out, number 11 gear. Uh, so you're gonna have some good snap on that one. Cool. Uh, that one should be pumps too. All right, so we got four pumps. Yeah, I got four pumps in there. Man, this is easy. You're jumping into it. Nah, you know what? We're so busy, thank God. I, I, I want to keep this as a hobby, you know? I heard you change your Instagram to Soto Lolo. Lolo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are the fittings I told them to kind of, yeah, they did. Kind of mock them together for you guys. So we upgraded all the check valves. So these ones are all going to hold higher pressure. Mm -hmm. um, these are going to also have higher flow. Got it. So. Like so Jason, our chassis guy, used to build mini trucks in the 90s. Okay. So he actually knows this <laughs> Oh, so yeah. yeah, yeah you so. guys are going to be good, man. What is this thing out there? That is your uh, carrier bearing, your center support. Got it. So you got two-piece drive shaft on your car, so um, those ones you normally want to change. Is it, it's not, it's not two-piece right now, is it? Yeah. It is? Yeah, they're factory two-piece. Okay. So yeah, there's your fittings. So I set you up with power bolts for the rear, so that way you get more movement out of them, and for three-wheeling. Um, these are going to be... What are these, dude? So those are your cups that actually hold your coils. 
So that will slide over a cylinder, which are probably in this box. Home that one? Uh huh. What is this? Those are your springs right there. My rear ones are fine. Uh, cool. so, oh, they're shortened, right? Yeah. So these are the presets, so you'll sit on the ground with these ones. So this is how your rear is going to be set up. Like that. This is what actually pushes against the frame. This is a free float. This will actually go through the car. Huh. I'll send you as much pictures as And where, where, where? So right now where your stock factory coil sits, uh -huh. you're gonna center up wherever that perch is at, drill, and you're gonna hole saw a hole through there. And this goes through it. Goes through that. This section right here is gonna push up against. Does the it frame. get welded to the car? No. Is there any welding involved in this? Yes, yeah, your whole battery rack has to get welded. Right, it has I to go that. to your frame. Um, this has to get welded down here to the trailing arm. But if you're buying trailing arms that already have power bolts in them, then you're not going to even need this. Okay. So it just kind of depends what route you go. But everything is here technically to, to build it. Ticano make a decent car, do the hydraulic up and down. We don't talk you know, like Kobe, that. We don't have access like, like that. Do that again? <laughs> this is Macobe like a Mexico, you know? <laughs> Do we really sound like that? No. Yeah, of course you do, man. Hell no. I do not sound like that. No homes, you no homes. I'm cruising around. Sorry about this guy. See you on the next vlog. <laughs>